Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create background layer with solid. Add name background, click OK. And go to FX Presses, source effect gradient ramp. Say gradient ramp, let's use for solid layer and go to start color let's use red and end color let's select this airdropper icon select this color and go to end color and change like this so click ok and change ramp shape radial ramp and click swap colors and select this point move to down for create like this gradient and for remove this part, go to ramp scatter, change 100. Okay, so let's lock layer and go to text. Click here and write design. Click station tool and go to window, open align. Click this icon and this icon for move to text to center. And I want to move to anchor point center. Hold control, double click pen behind icon. Click station tool. Again, go to Align, click this and this icon. Okay, so let's enable title action save, hide text layer for now and go to shape layers, hold this icon and let's create a rounded rectangle tool and let's hold shift, make one rectangle like this. Clicization tool, go to color, change to white. And let's zoom to layer, let's open inside, rectangle one, rectangle path one and change roundness like this for circle so in this time select this shape layer one and go to align click this and this icon for move to center shape layer and press p let's go to here go to one second create new pass in keyframe go to back and move to down select keyframes make it easy let's see Okay, select two frames, go to graph editor, select this graph and make smooth graph animations. Let's move to left more. Back to two frames, select last two frame, move to right. And in this time, go to here, hold shift, press T, open opacity, create opacity two frame, move to right and go to here, change opacity zero and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, select opacity keyframes, go to graph editor, again make it like this. So, back to keyframes, and in this time, let's select shape layer, open inside, contents, rectangle 1, and rectangle path 1. And let's go to here. In this time, let's click this icon and create size keyframe, and new passing keyframe, and roughness keyframe. Go to 2 second. And first change roughness 0 for turn to rectangle and change size like this. And right now select text layer, let's enable for C sizes and let's change like this. Okay, let's see. Nice and in this time let's move to left and moves up like this so select two frames and make it easy let's see okay and go to here and select this path let's move to right like this let's see select this shape layer go to solo okay select this last position two frame go to graph editor and select this middle two frame. Let's make smooth animation. Nice. Select last two frame. Move to left, and back to two frame. Select last two frame. Move to here. So select these three passing two frames. Go to graph editor and select this middle two frame. Let's move to left. Back to two frames, and select these two frames. Let's move to right for more slow and smooth animation. Okay, I like it. So back to two frames 
and let's see okay right now let's go to here and create new redness keyframe and size go to less keyframe and change redness like this for again circle and let's zoom here and change size for circle let's see nice and here let's select this last position keyframe okay we can move to down a little bit and let's change size change more okay pretty good nice and in this time let's select the shape layer press u for c only active keyframes and select text go to mask tools let's hold this icon select rectangle tool and let's create rectangle like this so clearization tool and go to here in this time i will make mask animation frame by frame select design press m and open mess one create mask path and in this time we can move mask like this let's go to back three two frames for go to frame by frame two frames use page up for go to back for go to back frame by frame two frames use page up in keyboard one two three let's uh, let's zoom in here move to left is two frame again one two three okay we can move to left like this again one two three move to left again one two three move to left again one two three move to left again one two three again one two frame again next two frame and let's one okay so let's see nice and in this time we can add some two frames let's move to right again one two frame move to light okay okay that's all let's see nice i like it so in this time let's close two frame settings and let's create shadow off. go to shape layers hold this icon and let's create new ellipse tool and make one ellipse like this clearization tool go to fill use airdropper for color and change color to dark red and in this time let's go to pen behind icon move the anchor point left clearization tool and let's see in this time let's press s click this icon for turn off scale icon and change scale zero create scale two frame and go to here and change scale 100 and make it easy go to graph editor and make smooth graph let's select work area let's see okay this very slowly let's make graph like this okay pretty good back to two frames and fx preset search effect gaussian blur select gaussian blur use for shape layer 2 and let's change name shadow and let's zoom in here change blurness like this okay this is very smooth let's see nice select this last shift frame move to left okay that's good so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck